Hello everyone, I'm bringing you a video today in contrast to some of the recent uploads looking at larger items of kit and uniform. We're going to look at a smaller item of kit today, a knife, fork and spoon set, which is part of the late war jungle equipment which has been covered, the various items of which have been covered on the channel previously. Uh, this was quite an interesting design, it clips together very neatly and we're going to look at a derivative Australian design in this video as well. So without further ado, we'll get into the main part of the video and have a look at these two different knife, fork and spoon sets. So here we have the two knife, fork and spoon sets, which we're going to have a look at in some detail now. The one on the left is the British example and the one on the right is the Australian example. So the way these function is you have a clip attached to the spoon at the back and then the handles of the knife, fork and spoon have depressions or little studs so they clip together basically and hold together as a one little package, which is quite a neat uh, feature of the design. And this would be perpetuated in a civilian design post-war known as Compactum. One of the manufacturers would take this on and bring it to the civilian market to camping cutlery. You can see the example here, the British example is marked par on each component. I don't know if this is a soldier's thing or perhaps this is someone who's, someone's marked these when they've been sold a surplus. I don't know, but they are all marked the same person. Interestingly though, this isn't a matched set. We look at the knife and fork here, you can see we have markings on the stainless steel of the fork there and then on the blade of the knife here hopefully that will come into focus there we go now the handles are both made of aluminium but the knife and the fork have the blade and the tines of the fork made of stainless steel the spoon is made of aluminium in its entirety apart from the clip the clip is made of stainless steel so these two are made in 1944 as you can see and we have the same manufacturer in both cases B and JS limited I believe we have the same on the knife as well. There you go. So the markings are found on the stainless steel there. You do have the, the, the Sheffield stamp in the aluminium. Sheffield, England, as you can see there. Whereas on the knife, it's on the blade. We've already seen that. The spoon, by contrast, is stamped on the clip. And this is made in 1945 by Richards of Sheffield. Richards would actually take this design on to the civilian market as something marketed as compactum cutlery, basically for campers and hikers and so forth in the post-war years. So this larger set appeared in 1944. Just clipped that together, of course, as part of the late war jungle equipment, as we've already mentioned. A smaller set of this cutlery, basically the same design, but smaller, was produced in 1945, with the exception that the knife was moved to the outside so the fork was in the middle and the knife was on the outside which is what we see here with the Australian version it's also the same size as the later smaller version introduced in 1945 so the Australians clearly copied the second version of this cutlery set because the British uh, version of this produced in 1945 the smaller version produced uh, in Britain was basically exactly per this Australian design here so that's the point of illustration there that you will also find British examples following this sort of pattern with the knife on the outside and considerably smaller and they're dated 1945. The Australian version is as I say a copy of the smaller type but otherwise you can see it functions in basically the same way you have the little studs on the handles there of the, the fork in this instance and then the little depressions in the spoon and the knife allowing it to clip together. The clip works in basically exactly the same way as well and again you have stainless steel for the blade of the knife and the tines of the fork. We have a look at the markings on these, they're actually stamped on the back. As you can see these are dated, sorry if I get this the right way up, my apologies. The manufacturer is CNA and then you have 1968 as the date and then DD for Defence Department with the broad arrow in the centre there. And they're also marked on the clip there, CNA 68 DD. I think one of these components is dated 66, so again, it's not a matched set. If we have a look here, yeah, the fork is dated 66. The first examples of these seem to appear in 1962, and then the set was replaced in uh, 1972 with a slightly different design of, of clipped together cutlery. So not a matched set, but nevertheless very nice to have. And as I say, following the later British pattern, the smaller British pattern with the knife clipping on the outside there. So just an interesting attempt to sort of lighten and make a, a very uh, compact and handy set of knife, fork and spoon for issue to troops. These were of course used in Vietnam by Australian troops. 
the British example saw some limited use post-war. The late war jungle kit, of course, didn't really see uh, service before the end of the Second World War, but it did see extensive use in jungle operations in the immediate post-war years, and the cutlery saw some service during that period as well, the knife, fork and spoon set. I want to say thank you here to Alan Pryor for providing much of the information I have on the late war jungle kit. Very kind of him to share his research and it's uh, very interesting information to have and obviously being able to talk about this was good for the video. And thanks to Steve Cheers as well in Australia who I've mentioned previously on the channel. He provided me with some of the information relating to this and the subsequent clip together set of knife, fork and spoon used by the Australian Army. So that was very useful for making this video as well. So thank you to both of you. And that's a, a look at these two different sets of knife, fork and spoon. Obviously the Australian one drawing heavily on the British design. Hopefully it's been interesting looking at these. So hopefully it's been interesting looking at that. I think it's nice from time to time to have a look at some of the smaller elements of soldiers kit, wash kit items, knife, fork and spoon sets and so forth. And I, I do hope it has been interesting looking at these. If you have found it interesting and you'd like to see more from the channel, please do consider subscribing if you haven't already. And whether you're newly subscribing or you've previously subscribed, please do make sure you hit the little bell, the notification button down below. That will of course alert you when I upload future videos. If you really like my uploads and you would like to support the channel, you can. Both Patreon and PayPal are linked down below. And as ever, a huge thank you to everybody who supports the channel using those two methods. It really is greatly appreciated. Thank you all very much indeed. If you'd like to follow the channel on social media, you can. Facebook, Instagram and Twitter are all linked down below. And if you'd like to get in touch but you don't really use social media, there is of course an email address in the description as well. That's everything for this video. So until next time, bye for now.